Hi again, in this video I'm going to tell you about syntactic parsing using the Spacey Natural Language Processing Library for Python. Syntactic parsing, or alternatively dependency parsing, is the task of defining syntactic dependencies that hold between tokens. So let's start exploring syntactic parsing by looking at the dependency tags for individual tokens. This information is available under the DEP or DEP underscore attribute of token objects. Once more, what we're going to do here is we're going to loop over each token in the doc object and print out the token and its dependency tag. And if I run this cell, then we will have a number of tokens in the output together with their dependency tags. So let's take a moment to think about the role of these dependency tags. So whereas part of speech tags are associated with a single token, these dependency tags actually indicate a relation that holds between two tokens. So what we're going to do here is we're going to print out the position of the token in the doc object, then we're going to print out the token itself, the dependency tag, and finally, we're going to print out the token that governs the current token and its index in the doc object. So if you take a look at this cell right here, you'll see that we again loop over the doc and then we print out various attributes. And as you can see, you can quite flexibly combine attributes in Python as well. So in this case, we print out the head and its index in the doc object. So we combine the head and index or i attributes. So let's take a moment to examine the output of this loop. What we have on the left hand side is a running sequence of numbers which indicates the indices of the tokens in the doc object, so their positions. And next we have the tokens themselves in the same order followed by their dependencies and then we have the indices of the heads that govern these tokens and the heads themselves. And if you take a look at the first row with the index 0, you'll see that the word is the, which acts as a determiner which is governed by the second token row. It's maybe a bit tricky to make sense of syntactic dependencies using output like this, but luckily Spacey also provides a visualization tool to support the analysis of syntactic dependencies. So next we're going to import the Displacy module from Spacey that allows us to render dependency trees. The Displacy module has a method named render which takes a spacey doc object as its input. And if we want to draw a dependency tree, we need to provide the doc object to the render method together with two arguments. The first one is style, because the displacey module can be used to draw visualizations for different annotations as well. The second is options, which takes a Python dictionary as input and we're going to provide a key named compact and a value true to tell Displacey to draw a compact tree diagram. So if I run this cell, Displacey will draw us a nice dependency tree that shows the dependencies between the different tokens. The syntactic dependencies are visualized using lines which lead away from the head of the dependency relation towards the token that's being governed by the head. These dependencies are described using a schema called universal dependencies and there are quite a few dependency tags and if you don't know some of them you can ask Spacey for an explanation using the explain function in the Spacey module. You can provide any tag as input as a string object to this function to retrieve an explanation of the tag. So in this case we see that the tag refers to the object of a preposition. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions just leave a comment below.